the papal mitre, the red liturgical vestment, and the rosary in his hands. This is how the body of Pope Francis appears, exposed in the silence of St. Peter's Basilica. While awaiting his funeral, the pontiff's body was subjected to a particular post-mortem technique known as thanatopraxy. But how exactly does this process work, and what is it for? In this video, we will explore this body preservation technique that has been hidden behind the doors of the Holy See for decades now. After the death of a pope, the Vatican follows a rigid and precise protocol characterized by ancient traditions and solemn rites. One of these is thanatopraxis, a hygienic conservative treatment that has the purpose of preserving the body of the pontiff, maintaining the natural appearance of the deceased for several days so that it can be exposed to the public in a dignified manner. Thanatopraxy was born around the middle of the 21st century when a French chemist and pharmacist Jean-Nicolas Ganal developed an innovative method for the preservation of bodies. Thus was born the Ganel method, which lays the foundations of modern thanatopraxy, although in reality it has also evolved thanks to the contribution of numerous scholars over time. When we die, the body undergoes a series of inevitable biological transformations, known as cadaveric phenomena, which are nothing more than the result of complex physical, chemical and environmental processes. With the natural decomposition of the body, the soft tissues deteriorate, causing the leakage of organic fluids and the emission of bad odors. This is where thanatopraxis comes into play, capable of slowing down the processes of decomposition and therefore allowing the public exposure of the body. First, the body is washed and disinfected thoroughly to eliminate external bacteria, secretions and biological residues. Then we proceed to venous drainage and emptying of the abdominal and thoracic cavities in order to completely eliminate the organic fluids accumulated inside them. At this point, we arrive at the most important and delicate phase of thanatopraxis. With a scalpel, the thanatopractor makes a superficial incision of a few centimeters and with the help of an aneurysm hook identifies the artery to be treated. Among the most frequently chosen injection points are the carotid arteries located in the neck area, the axillary arteries in the arms, or the femoral arteries in the thighs. Depending on the more or less good state of health of the deceased's vascular system, even more injection points can be chosen. Once the vessel has been identified, an incision is made and a cannula is inserted, to which a plastic tube is attached, into which a particular preservative liquid is injected, known as flutan, a substitute for formalin. Being a mixture based on organic peroxides, it is able to act directly on the blood, decolorizing it until it becomes transparent. In this way, complete drainage of the blood and the problem of disposal by the operators are avoided. Since the electrical activity of the heart is lost, its natural pumping function is also lost, the preservative fluid is pushed through the vascular system with the help of a manual or electric pump. On average, between 5 and 7 liters of fluitan are injected for each body, thus allowing the corpse to be preserved and the signs of decomposition to be eliminated for several days without the aid of refrigerated systems or environments. Thanks to thanatopraxis, after just the first few liters injected, the skin regains a more natural color and regains some of its lost tone, especially the eyeballs, nostrils and ear lobes. This rehydration of the tissues is particularly visible on the neck, hands, and face, and is due to the action of the arterial pressure of the injected liquid, which counteracts blood stasis. Finally, this practice is completed by a series of thanatostatic treatments, through makeup, moisturizing creams, and possible latex waxes for the reconstruction of damaged or missing skin areas, we try to attenuate the visible signs of death, thus giving the body a more serene and peaceful appearance. Thanatopraxy is an extremely complex and very delicate technique, requiring great skill and precision. A case that has sparked much discussion was that of the conservation of the body of Pope Pius XII, subjected to a series of conservative treatments after his death in 1958. A rudimentary embalming process with the use of unsuitable chemical substances meant that the pontiff's body underwent accelerated decomposition with visible effects after just a few hours. Today, however, thanks to more advanced techniques, thanatopraxis allows for optimal preservation of the body as in the case of Pope Francis. 
Using modern preservative fluids, the treatments have not only slowed down decomposition, but have also maintained the natural and serene appearance of the body for public display.